Perfect. My name is Rafi Media Villa from Critical Let me tell you, let me tell you, David, and and you know, I mean something. Don't 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 tell anybody else. But the but the interview that I wanted to look into forward the most was interviewing the two of you, specifically Naomi, because I absolutely love Carol. And I'll get to that right I, I, in a in a minute because I want to talk to David first. David, your character in this season. Is, is is going? I mean, Danny is going. Danny, yeah, Danny, sorry, is going through a lot. Danny is going. Your um, the Brad is going through a lot and different changes throughout the whole season. But I also love that this the, the arc for Danny in this season has a really strong message, uh, a strong point to get across with with what happened with Brad. So, uh, Danny, if you could talk to Brad about what's going in his life. What, what 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 would be the underlying message that you would tell him with all these things that we would see? We know the art, so we know where it's going. What would you tell him uh, to, you know, maybe to give him some 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 positive vibe that, hey, mm -hmm. well, this, this is gonna work out in the end. Just give it time. <laughs> if Brad would allow me to sit down, I don't think Brad sits down very often. Uh, if Brad would allow me to sit with him for a moment, I would say, uh, what are you running from? Are you running? <laughs> you know, from the past? Are you running to something? What are we doing here? And also like maybe to heal, maybe it's, it would be a good idea to heal the past in order to move forward a little bit. So I would say like, let's look back. Let's just unpack a little bit. You're good, man. You're good. You're, you're, you're skilled. You're valuable. Have a seat, sit down for once. It's okay. You know, have a mochaccino. It's okay. Sit down. It's all good. I think, I think we have a lot for about, about uh, we have to I mean Brad has a bright future ahead of him from <laughs> we, we, we without giving it too, too much away. Uh, <laughs> Naomi, oh my god, Carol. I absolutely love Carol. Yay. I don't know. I mean, I, let me tell you something. I have a master's in business administration. I I have done nothing with it, but I wanted to study, so I did I did it. Right? <laughs> I wonder, I wonder. No, I I, I want you guys to laugh, but it, but it's I haven't done anything with it. It's just I just did it. I wonder. With the, being the HR lady, did you did, did you do any research? Because you you just you just blew it out, out, of the, out of the water with every single situation they put you in. <laughs> the, when you get the script, do you go like, is this is this even legal? That, are we supposed to to do this? Uh, how, how do you go about uh, when you get the lines and you prepare yourself for the character? Because I absolutely love a Carol, what the Carol has to go through. How do you get yourself in the role? Well, thank you very much. How I get in the role of Carol is, Carol is someone who just wants to be left alone. And I understand <laughs> that. Carol would like to just sit down in her house with nobody talking to her, with a glass of wine, okay? But people keep bothering her. So that's why I understand that feeling. I think I just figured out why Brad and Carol are drawn to each other in a way. Brad just wants to be alone too. <laughs> He just wants to be left alone. He wants to deal as as quickly as possible with whatever we need to deal with, and then he just wants to be alone. Right. I, I think we, the three of us, we just want to be left alone. We nobody, exactly. nobody wants like Carol or Brad or Brad. You nobody wants to get bothered. So okay, <laughs> two more questions because I, I'm running out of time. I, this season has. It's called a dramedy. So what can people expect from this third season? Uh, Naomi, you first. In this third season, you're going to see fun new pairings of the characters you already love. At some point, uh, people do get into a tank. I'm not going to say no more. It gets <laughs> fun. It gets wild. I would uh, say, uh, yes, fun and wild. Um, and some existential questions, some reflection. Some of the characters are achieving success and also questioning their purpose. Uh, this season, which is, um, I think, leads to some kind of unexpectedly touching episodes. Yep, true. Okay, so one final question, and I also cover gaming on my platform, so I gotta ask that. I, I ask everyone. Everyone has given me great answers. So, what game are you playing right now, or what would you recommend my my listeners to play that you are playing? Uh, Naomi, you first. I recommend you listen to Danny's recommendation. <laughs> Daddy. Thank you, Naomi. I'm playing a game called Return to Monkey Island right now on the Switch, uh, and I'm really enjoying it. It's just kind of a nice little romp through the life of a pirate, but it's kind of jolly, and it's got this fun, like, weird storytelling and a lot of, like, goofy puns. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it's good. Again, thank you for your time. Congratulations. Loving what I've seen so far. I've been here from season one to season three. Hopefully three more, more seasons. I love Carol. More, more Carol, please. More <laughs> thank Carol. you so much. Thank you.